going on guys this is uh, HBAC with Mike again uh, sorry about the wind noise there's a lot of wind noise going on uh, I just want to show you what, what I'm up, up to today what I'm doing uh, in this job that I came to this school uh, I'm on top of this roof it's a beautiful day it's actually not hot not cold uh, it feels really good outside so I want to show you a little bit about what I'm doing today. Today I'm working on this Aon uh, rooftop unit, package unit. As you can see, I have the compressors right here. Now, some other people has, has already been here in this place. Uh, so it's not my first time actually working in this one either. Uh, this is like my third time second third time that I came here and um, today I had a this issue going on I uh, came one of these days and I found out that this unit was not working uh, it wasn't coming on uh, I came and I started checking all the, all the fuses first of all I shut the power off uh, the reason that I start checking the fuses is because this is this unit is actually being monitored. That's the module right there that monitors uh, this unit, so it doesn't use a, uh, a thermostat. It uses we call them DDC controls. So I noticed that there, there was no lights, nothing lead on the control right here. Right now I have the power off. Because you're wondering why you put your hands there. Uh, so I don't have power right now. I have it off. So I noticed that, like I said, there was no power in that uh, controls. Uh, and the unit was not coming on. So that made me immediately think, uh, well, I need to check for power. Why am I not getting power? Uh, so first thing I did is, let me check the fuses. Uh, that goes to the power. Uh, overall, I start checking all the fuses anyways. The big one is pretty good. So this is right here where the fuses were. The fuse right here. The other fuses that I found, uh, this is a 10 amp fuse. They were in there. So what I did is I don't like to put uh, new fuses without checking anything so what i did is uh, i like to use these ones i bought them on grangers to test anything and it, and it actually says even though i had 10 amp fuse it says right there that i can use 15 and the stick right there you can see a 15 so i'm using a 15 and i didn't have a pair of 10s or 15 so i decided to use a 15 and a 10. and look at what happened it popped out after it tripped and it broke the freaking uh, bottle that I had. It had a tent here, so it's gone. I reset it already, so it's already being reset. So it popped out uh, that those little breakers. This one is the one that popped out. Like I said, it even broke the white uh, bottle to reset it. Uh, so that means I have something going on and. And I, I, uh, I turn it back on, like I said, uh, to to see what happens. And I noticed that when this one came on, which is for the second uh, stage on this unit, when this one came on, it ran for a little bit. It ran for a little bit, and then pop, it popped uh, ten. on my on my uh, contactor and it seems to be good I didn't read any ground I have a uh, home so that is similar to all the other ones so I'm like man what the heck could it be and I also noticed that the second stage came on but the first stage never came on 
and I was being it was being cold. I have my release here. This is for my uh, first stage, and this is for my second stage. And it was made. I was having uh, 24 bolts to my terminals right there. That is for my first stage, but it wasn't coming on. So I decided to reset this uh, high pressure switch. Um, didn't do anything. I check on the low low pressure switch is made. Uh, this one is for my fan. Whenever it, it gets warm enough, it keeps my fan my fan on. And I'm like, man, what it could be? And I don't have any uh, diagram. And neither here. I don't have any diagram, so I only have two options: wires in or trying to find a diagram online. So I'm like, man, I, I'm not gonna go online. I'm not gonna try. Uh, so I'm just gonna trace the wires in. So what I did is I started started following the wires. First of all, I wanted to know why my power is not going to my my low voltage, if you wanna call it low. I think it's, it's 10 if I'm not mistaken. My control, I'm gonna call it control voltage instead. Uh, my control voltage. I was thinking in power, my control voltage for my first stage. So I'm like, I need to find out the reason I'm not getting power to the contactor on my control, uh, for my control voltage. So I started tracing the wire. It's a yellow wire right there. Had to cut some of the uh, straps that were there. And I start tracing it, it's right here. And I start checking for continuity, continuity, continuity. It's a hard word for me to say. Uh, to see where I'm losing the continuity, continuity, however you call it. Uh, so I noticed, like I said, that I was losing continuity from my contactor to my terminals over here. So I started tracing it, came to this relay right here. I think this is the wire and I have continuity there. And then uh, I went to this other yellow one and I trace it in and I noticed that it comes to this one here, to, to this uh, whoever uh, put it together right here. So one of these goes to my contactor for my first compressor, my first stage, and one goes to, I believe, this one, yeah, to this one, to a high pressure switch. So I check continuity from here, from this uh, wire nut, I separate them. I didn't cut them, it was already like that. I separate the wires to this one here one of the wires one of the wires from here was giving me continuity continuity to my contactor and so I was okay I'm fine from there so I said okay now let me check from the high pressure switch put them in together to my contactor and I wasn't getting any of them what the heck and that was the only wire left so I start tracing it, like I said, and it goes all the way here. One of these wires goes to my high pressure switch. So from this wire, whichever wire, I forget which one it is. I have it mark over here separately. The wire that is supposed to go to my high pressure switch right there, this boy, to this one, to over here, I wasn't having any continuity. So what I noticed is, I already caught him, that I had a short. So I caught him, and I'm gonna have to put them together. See, but that wire was rubbing right here on my suction line for my compressor, and I found more problems. And this is how deep, how this one was. This one was just like this here. This two over here, I'm gonna show you. So that's how this wire, that wire right here, 
was the same as this one. So that's why I believe this one is short, it's popping my amp. Whenever one of these kicks in and it's touching on ground, it trips. So what I'm gonna do now is I put the wires together like this one, this one, which is for my high pressure switch. This one, I don't know exactly which one it's for, but I'm gonna cut it here, cut it right here and, and redo it and whatever other wire needs to be done. The same way I'm gonna do it. So, yes, that was my problem. Uh, and we're gonna see from there. Let me let me uh, fix them, and then I come back and, and let you know if that was the issue or not. All right, guys. So I'm back to this job. I'm um, sorry about the wind noise. If you can hear it, there's a lot of wind where I am. Uh, hopefully seem like it wants to start raining so today's another day it's a chilly morning for me i had to come back to this job because i couldn't finish it yesterday and i had a had emergency call to another job site a uh, good thing they had uh, another backup uh, rooftop unit on this uh, area so that's why i wasn't too worried about it so i came back i did fix this yesterday the broken wires and the ones that had loose uh, insulation and they were touching the ground they were touching ground on the, on this uh, uh, suction pipe from the compressor so as you can see I fixed them I use some of these but uh, smaller ones let me show you this is my little box where I keep uh, wire nuts and some more stuff so I use some of these but smaller to fix it and, and I like to wrap my stuff on tape I have said it before in our videos some people agree some people don't agree that's just me I'm not gonna have a debate about that it's just my style and I like to do that uh, so anyways I fixed it but uh, it would still uh, trip my breaker to a point that even burn it out so, uh, over so I read some uh, voltage with the meter and I noticed that it's actually 480 on those two legs and I'm like man that's high voltage so I want to find out then I start thinking if it's burning my fuses and it's 480 it could be something uh, 480 not actually on the control side but on the low side uh, high voltage low side that might be tripping uh those breaker th this breaker and burning my fuses out so i said you know what let me check uh the first thing that came to my mind is like the easiest one fastest i said let me go check my fans and make sure uh they are running so what i noticed is there's some wind going on and as you can see the wind is moving that fan and it's moving that other fan over there this one here isn't moving so immediately I said oh, okay that's my issue so when it turns on and it's trying to run it doesn't move it's stuck so it's a bad motor see I could have to put some uh, force to be able to, to move out so it won't move but look, look at how easily those move just with the wind so what I did is I just cut it off isolated because I don't they're all in the same contactor so I didn't want to deal with having to unplug all of them and trying to find out which one is the band so I just opened the, the cover and I cut it from there uh seemed like somebody had already cut in it cut them previously but they didn't use wire nuts so that's why I had to cut it myself again anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate this one it's already isolated i'm gonna put the cover back i'm gonna leave it running like that until i get uh the new condenser motor so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go get the new condenser motor but i'm almost i'm almost sure that that was the reason those fuses were burning out i thought it was uh i mean that was an issue too had broken wires like one of the compressors wasn't even coming on because it was broken on the control side so it wasn't even uh calling for the contactor uh but that was an issue as well but what was burning 
my fuses uh those fuses right there right now have a breaker and i have a fuse the other breaker that i had burned so it's not longer good if i put the readings from here and here instead of getting continuity i get uh, ohms so it's burned out it's bad that one is bad no longer works so <clears throat> yes guys that's that that was my issue like i said this was a service call uh, about this unit not running uh, i noticed like i said before i didn't have power on the control voltage uh to my control voltage and i noticed this one this is which is 480 gives power to my transformers over here that reduces from two uh from 480 to 24 volts so if this are uh burn out the fuses it won't power my control voltage so that's why i didn't have any control uh, voltage over here and everything was off as it is right now if i turn it on you're gonna see the led lights coming on as you can see right there the led lights so i didn't have any of those lights that's when i when i first came in so that made me thought uh either my transformers were bad or, or some fuses were bad and usually when the fuse goes out uh there's a reason why uh, hardly ever happens that it just go goes out just because maybe there was a storm yeah it's gonna happen something is gonna cause that fuse to burn out so again i put my breakers i had the other one breaker that burned out on it and it, it uh it popped it out so i start looking for what was the issue i found broken wires i fixed the broken wires <clears throat> put the uh, breakers back on uh, i reset the breakers then it burned my my other breaker and i was like man i already fixed the broken wires what's going on uh and i'm like well let me let me let me read the voltage so i read the voltage it, it was 480 and i'm like you know what this is not it wasn't those wires really burning my my uh, fuses out. Uh, I think it, it's something else, and it has to do on the on the high voltage low side. So that's when I said it. Let me let me do the first thing that came to my mind. Let me go look at the fence, and that's that's what I found. Hope this video is uh, helpful for you to diagnose, troubleshoot a uh, similar unit like this one. This is a Aon unit, you can hardly see the letters on There's not even a name plate anymore. Uh, really old unit. It's a 22 uh, Freon on it. So uh, I'll wrap it up with this already. So you hope you have a nice day. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that fan motor, uh, replace it. Um, I should fix my issues on this unit now. Hope you have a nice day. Please, like I said, like, subscribe if you like the video. If you don't like it.